everything's going fine and we're world record holders so uh, we're, curr we're currently at 10,000 feet at 12 o'clock on um, oh, Tuesday now Tuesday the 8th of September been flying since Saturday the 5th of September at 11 o'clock at night and it's now 12 o'clock and so you can work it out uh, I can't work it out um, I think it's 60 hours it's just over 60 hours or so and it, we've had our world record for two minutes <laughs> So here we have um, the infamous port of Dover, queuing for the ferry at Dover, having driven down from Nottingham via a certain point to pick up some life rafts and life jackets. So we're waiting for the, the, the ferry to take the car across to Calais and then Germany. Currently this is the uh, Gordon Bennett gas balloon race, the initial briefing in uh, Geneva. We're in a hotel and we've been told all the things we're going to have to do and not do. And this is the opening ceremony. We have the FAI opening it, uh, we're welcomed and the national anthem of the FAI is being played. Uh, the race is called the Gordon Bennett Gas Balloon Race and it's uh, the longest distance from where they take off, so in this case the longest distance from Geneva. Uh, the balloons take off and they go wherever they want to and they just end up, uh, they can go over any country they want to um, within the rules and they just land the furthest distance from Geneva. Well, they're in the preparation stage here, but let's move in for a closer look and see if they have any... Oh! What was that? I thought a balloon must have uh, overpressurized and gone up. Um, I didn't hear a flame, but I just thought it's got to be a balloon popping, but I couldn't understand the sound at all. And what actually happened was one of the pipes supplying the balloon with hydrogen burst. And they're very, very um, expensive, very um, well-maintained pipes, so it's quite unusual for one to go, but it did. Well, here we have all the sandbags on the outside of the balloon. There's more than we're going to actually fly with. Um, but the reason there's so many is to stop, make it stable, so it just won't take off on its own. Um, So now uh, we've just launched, it was almost immediately after launch, unfortunately I couldn't show you the launch because I was busy, I had my hands full, um, but now this is a view of Geneva just after takeoff. I'm flying with Anne Webb, and uh, works at Manchester University and she's a hot air pilot, she doesn't have a gas licence, this is her second gas flight, so for her it's quite incredible. We've just flown through the night and this is dawn coming up over the French coast, this is a place called Montpellier and then we fly on to a place called Bézier, where we go out to sea for one and a half days. So this is uh, our view of land currently. We didn't realise later that this was going to be a very significant view because uh, when you've flown one and a half days, you want to see the, the land and it would be grateful. So this is us about to leave land. We're looking at the Swiss team. Uh, this balloon, um, um, I don't remember exactly which uh, one it was, but. Uh, it, I think this was either the one that stayed with us and did a very similar track to us or one that ended up coming second. I don't quite know at this stage, I need to look at this uh, footage more, but uh, anyway, this is another balloon. Um, we've flown I don't know how many kilometres, maybe 400 kilometres by this stage, and there's another balloon right next to us. But now we're over the sea, so all's calm and the balloon's heating up, so it's all a different story really. So we've uh, got past the, uh, what well, not you wouldn't say dangerous, but the place where you have to have a bit more skill. During the day it's a bit easier, so hopefully we're going to sunbathe and relax now. So here we are, um, <clears throat> we've got a view of the coast which is fantastic. Um, we didn't have that view for a lot of the flight, Most of the, a lot of the flight we didn't actually see the coast. Um, we spent, uh, as I say, we w went out, I think it was about 7 o'clock in the morning 
we headed out to sea and we didn't arrive back until the following day at about four o'clock in the afternoon. So a lot of time spent over the water and a very slow flight over the water as well, which was fine until the, the last day, well, until about two o'clock when we could see land, but we didn't, you know, we were going painfully slow towards it. Uh, we were going about five miles an hour and I just kept on thinking what happens if the wind changes and we have an offshore breeze and we get blown back out again. But we made it, so that was fine. So this is how we fly. We have the sand in the scoop and we just throw it out. And this is me ballasting a little bit of sand because you can see that sea down there. And at some point uh, we ended up being closer than we'd like to the sea, so we just throw some sand out. This is Lancashire hot pot. With potatoes, mm. onions, carrots, and celery. Have a look. Do have a look. Okay. It's quite mm. saucy. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. Sunday dinner. Mm. 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 Well, Janet, I think that's the coast I can see behind you. How are we doing? Well, I'm not going to say anything because it's a fatal last minute, but um, we're still approaching the coast, which is good. So we do hope to be coming across the coast, which is a massive relief because we've been over water since forever. <laughs> well, this was sunrise, but what was incredible was that ridge line. It, I don't know if it comes out on the camera, but that cloud was just flowing over that ridge line and coming down the side of it like a waterfall, like um, a water over waterfall. Just incredible. So at this point, we've just dis discovered we've broken a world record. It was 11.56 and uh, apparently the longest duration flight had been 60 hours and something and we had broken that. So this was a point which was amazing in the flight, uh, just to know that we've broken a world record. Uh, we broke the world record for the women's world duration. So we're the two women that have been in a balloon um, uh, for the longest time. We've had our world record for two minutes. <laughs> it's a ladies' world record. So now we've got to get beat the men's world record. I don't know what that is, but it's, I think it's considerably more. So we'll we'll see about that one. We'll work on that one. Maybe it's for the next flight. We'll yeah. we'll go gently. Uh, at this point in time, it was a couple of minutes after we broke the world record, we heard this incredible noise in the sky and it, it turned out to be an F-18 fighter jet and it had been sent up to come and signal and say hello to us uh, and congratulations for getting the world record, but it was just incredible. I think our race control contacted the Spanish authorities, told them there was two women in the sky and one of my friends said that there was two unescorted females, so the Latin blood said they had to go around us and have a look at us. But uh, uh, it was fantastic, absolutely amazing. So here we are, um, still in the air after 60 odd nine hours or something, and we've decided to fly on through the night. Um, but uh, we started using ballast, so I suddenly decided to land. So I'm sorry I couldn't show you the landing, but it was a very late, last minute decision. And here we have it. Uh, we've landed in a field in Toledo, or, uh, near Erda in Toledo, Spain. Here we have the only problem with my landing, and I thought they were cows, but of course we've landed in Spain. So those black things at the end of the field are bulls. So here we have the farmer, and um, he's come out to protect us from the bulls, which was great. Amazing, uh, <laughs> 1,000 and I don't know how many kilometers, uh, 60, I don't know how many hours of flying and a beer from this wonderful gentleman. Uh, we discovered at the end that we'd come six and we'd flown for 69 hours and 22 minutes. <laughs> so now we've landed, we're safe and sound and we're at the award ceremony. We've driven all the way back to Geneva and uh, we're getting presented with our uh, certificate for sixth place and also congratulations for having the world record.